bother of mine. Tell me where have you been? You know I just close my eyes. Hello. Hello. How you doing, my man? Very well. How are you guys? I don't know. I just dragged myself out of bed. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I dragged me out of bed. Uh, dragged me out of bed. She's like, all right, come on. He's going to be calling. Get out of bed. Yeah. No, I didn't say that. Just kick me right out. <laughs> How uh, are you doing? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I talked to you yesterday. I feel a little better today than I did yesterday. Wow. You do sound like that. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, you don't sound like you. Well, I, um, I think it's... Uh, it's not so much that I'm like stuffed up or anything. It's just uh, in my throat, and I feel a little like uh, tired. Yeah, right. Well, oh my gosh, I just realized something. Uh, what happens if you get seriously ill? Are like you 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 gonna <laughs> hire somebody to do the podcasting? If I get seriously ill, will someone do this? Well, you know, I've never really thought about that. Why? Why do you want to come over and do it? No, God, no. You would, you would do awesome. Oh, I don't know about that. No, no way. I, there's no way I can replace you. Well, what if I set you up with a bunch of a technical equipment at your house, and you could whenever? Uh, you- I don't want no equipment, buddy. I got enough equipment as it is. <laughs> you, if you, hey, if you did your own podcast, you could, you could make some serious money. No. <laughs> All right. No, I, I don't want no money. I got lots of money. I know. I know. You said that. You don't need. You said that uh, last week. If you won the lottery, you'd give it all away. I, I would. I believe that. I, I'd keep about four thousand dollars in my pocket and give the rest of them to the poor. Four thousand, huh? Oh, uh, five thousand. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got uh, a lot of neighborhood uh, people here that can use money. Oh yeah. Um, well, uh, you know, it's so good to hear your voices again, once again, for another edition. You know, my pleasure, honey, my pleasure. You know, you got a birthday coming up in March. Oh, boy. <laughs> you would have to remind me of that, wouldn't you? That'll be uh, 89. Holy moly. Is it 89 or 90? No, 89. God. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, boy. Come on, Dad. We got to hit 100. We have to. Oh, I'll eat. I'll hit 100. No problem. Yeah, I believe that. So For sure I would. Uh, on your birthday, we it's a it's a tradition to go over to Stong's and have the corned beef. Uh, yeah. St. Patrick's yeah, yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because since you're, you and your sister were both born on St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Isn't that something? I love that. Oh, my God. I wish you could. I don't know what she looks like. I should bring him out here somewhere. Your sister? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, that would be that would be fun. You should. I don't know if she'd travel though. She's pretty. She's pretty low key. Yeah. 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 Um, how, how old is she going to be? Your sister's seven years younger than you. God. So she'll so she'll be eighty two. Wow. Uh, that worries me. What? I might, I might lose her before I lose myself. No, no. You guys are going to live forever. Come on now. Well, hey. <laughs> Only God knows that. All right, Dad, listen to this. I've got some questions for you. Jimmy in beautiful Portland, Maine has a question. Uh, is that a Jimmy? Jimmy, yeah. Well, hello, Jimmy. How are you, my he, man? He, uh, he writes, Dear Meathead, first of all, Happy New Year to you and Joanne. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you. He says, his first question, what is your opinion of the famous holiday dessert fruitcake? (laughs) Then he writes, I tried it for the first time this year and I wanted to puke. (laughs) Hey, I don't blame you, really. (laughs) He says they should drop it. They should round all the fruitcake up and drop it on your island. Uh, oh to yeah, eat. hey, that's right. That's so, right. No, we had we had a, we need some clothing for the island. Yeah, those guys are naked all the time. So, Dad, fruitcake, yay or nay? Uh, 
No. Yeah, I... Hey. No, not, not me. All right. Rob writes, Meathead, I took my fiancé to the doctor yesterday because she was in some pain, believe it or not, in her uh, private area. When the doctor said she was going to need a pelvic exam, I asked, where do I wait while I leave the room? However, my wife to be insisted I stay in the room while the doctor examined her. I ended up staying with my back turned, but wondered what would you have done in this scenario? I walk out of the room. (laughs) Well, what if I couldn't couldn't see that? (laughs) Yeah, but what? (laughs) Huh? Yeah, but you know, what if uh, your, uh, your wife would be like, well, I'm not comfortable if you're not in here. Well, I I think I would have done what uh, he did, you know, to turn your back, and I don't want to watch that. No, I I don't blame you. I think, I think, uh, I think you're just turning around will have to do it. You know? I'd just be in a room, but I would would not be watching and observing what the hell they're doing. Oh for, no. You know? no, no, I I'm, I'm with you. I wouldn't want to see that. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, no. I mean. That'd be the one of the worst things ever. It, it, it sure would be. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's it. You know what? It sounds like to me. It sounds like it's tough to be a woman. Yeah, you know? uh, I, I don't know. You know, we we're together all the time, and we we even. I mean, we respect each other. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying that it seems well, to when you when you were. Uh, Right there watching all that, that's a sort of cut into the respect. Yeah. Wait, you're, you're saying that if if the woman is getting uh, examined by the doctor, it makes you respect her less? No, it don't make me respect, but it just it doesn't give me the feeling that I should be out there watching it. Uh, okay, I, I see what you're saying. But, yeah, to my point, women have it tough. They've got to put up with... Uh, uh, you know, various. Oh my God! Yes. Jesus. Then having a baby. I mean, that sounds. That that just a baby itself. It's enough for for me to die. Yeah. Instead of watching it. Yeah. Uh, that that I, I I wouldn't be able to do it. They they definitely are tougher than us guys. Listen, a woman goes through hell raising his kids, and giving birth to them. Oh my God! And they got to take care of us. I mean, if it wasn't for our significant others, you and I would be dead. That's for damn sure. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. And it looks like you're uh, headed that way already. Yeah, I don't feel great. I've, I've been better, but I, I'm better than I was yesterday. It's all that COVID you had. Maybe, and I just took another uh, test. You must have. I've been taking tests, and they, they keep coming back negative. So Okay, it's time to cut through the clutter. With all of the information about online betting, my bookie. That's all you need to know, my bookie. New year, new you. When I say new you, I mean because you're going to my bookie. Give yourself a fresh start with my bookie. Whether you bet to earn, which some people do because they're good at it, or just to have some fun, my bookie gives you the most for your money with their redesigned deposit bonus. Just use promo code Zane on a deposit of 50 bucks or more to receive a cash bonus instantly to your my bookie account. Try it out. My bookie promo code Zane using this bonus is simple. Bet your deposit amount just once and you're ready to cash out. It's no strings attached with my bookie promo code Zane. Bet on the NFL, UFC, play for a share of big cash prizes in the weekly online blackjack tournaments. You name it, my bookie has you covered. With so many brands to choose from, you need a platform that makes it simple to bet and win. Like my bookie promo code Zane. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Okay, I feel like I've made it. Because every time I turn on whatever podcast, the big famous shows are talking about HelloFresh. Well, guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, I've partnered with HelloFresh. Now, I've experienced this myself, and I'm telling you, it's fantastic. Holy cow. You just pick what you want to eat. The box shows up at your house 
with everything you need to make an absolutely fantastic meal. How often have I talked with you about how much I love to work in the kitchen and make fantastic meals? But the problem with that is there's a little bit of uh, extra work involved with like the research and then going to the store and then buying all the stuff and then like uh, life gets in the way and you never make it and everything rots in the fridge and it's all stupid and you hate your life and then you never do it again and then you eat like a jackass. Well, how about we forget all of that and you just wa- open up your door, walk outside, and grab a box filled with particular portions, exact sizes of what you need to make some of the best food you will ever have. And it's like you're a star because you plate the food and then you pass it off to your family. And they're like, who are you? We had no idea you had the ability to make such great food. That's because they specifically tell you the instructions for each of the fantastic meals that you can make with HelloFresh. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, this is great. So all this time you've been going out, you've been eating out, you've been spending a ton of cash. How about you make gourmet recipes and you do it? Uh Aha, maybe you do it as a process with other members of your family. It's so much fun, man. Forget about spending all that money on expensive food. Make Fast, fresh, amazing recipes with HelloFresh. My gosh, you got to do this. The box shows up and then off you go. Man, I love HelloFresh. This is what I want you to do. I want you to try it out. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Zane21. 21 because that's what I look like. I'm 21. HelloFresh.com slash Zane21 and use the code Zane21. And then you get, you guessed it, 21 free meals plus free shipping what a deal if you're listening to me right now and you don't try this you're crazy we're giving you free food hellofresh.com slash zane 21 use the code zane 21 and 21 free meals plus free shipping it it doesn't get more perfect than this My gosh, I love you. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, okay? I love HelloFresh. You will too. Check it out online, hellofresh.com slash Zane21. Use code Zane21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Go do it. Um, Maybe, maybe, you never know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Stevie writes, hello, Reuben. Hello, Joanne. Happy New Year to you. And then she writes, hello to you too, Stevie. She says the last few weeks, the weather has been gloomy and dark. And it's star- Absolutely yeah, correct. And it's starting to bring me down. What kind of things do you do to keep yourself in a good mood? Uh, I, I have no uh, medicine for that. I, I, I sit on this chair. Uh, yeah, happy, happy life. Uh, but I'm, I'm just sitting all the time. I'm actually half of my body is aching. Half of your body's aching. Yeah, really, uh, from sitting. Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, yeah, get up and uh, I don't know, walk around the house, walk around outside. I do, I do. I take the whole. Well, we, well, we got a two-acre lot or whatever it is. I don't know. I walk all the way around it and. Count the weeds or, you know. Count the weeds? I mean, uh, anything. We got, uh, you don't know how, but this, this place is a mess. I, it's not a mess. Come on. I'm telling you. Well, no, but it's, it's uh, crappy. Uh, that's not true. It, it's fine. And uh, so you go and you walk around. Hopefully you walk on grass, though. Uh, are I'm you... on grass. There's nothing but grass here. Yeah. I mean, if you do walk. Uh, why, yeah, why don't you, it's, it's on grass. Why don't you? Well, uh, wet grass. Can you maybe duct tape a pillow to your head so that? Oh uh, no! I got a big stick. Use it for a cane and walk along the fence. Yeah. I hang on to one side of the fence because I got trouble walking all of a sudden. You know? Yeah. The uh, the extensive long list of injuries that have happened in that driveway and garage is is ever increasing. <laughs> Uh, I've had a few of those walks. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, life is great. I'm stronger than hell. I know. I know. I got a zip line to the hospital. A <laughs> zip line to the hospital. My God. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm good. 
Let's see. Randall writes this. Uh, uh, Randall writes, Dear Meathead. Hi, Randall. He says, I like to eat sandwiches and candy for breakfast. Uh, Cereal. Yeah, that's what he says. Cereal for supper and fried eggs with any meal. And I cook whole turkeys when it's not a holiday. My wife thinks I'm crazy for eating these foods at the wrong times. Is it okay to eat any food whenever you want? So what he's asking is, is it okay for him to eat candy for breakfast? Well, if you like it, it's okay. But I, I don't see the common sense in eating candy. Uh, maybe donut. I'll eat a donut. Well, candy, the thingy. Yeah. Well, my wife says donut is candy, but I, I don't treat it like that. Yeah, it's full of sugar. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not too got a too much of a sugar guy, you know. But I, I'll, she, the, yesterday, the, uh, my wife came out there and Joanne came out there. Put four uh, things of candy in front of me. A little chocolate, uh, chocolate bar. Yeah. And I ate it. That was good. Wait a minute. Aren't you a diabetic? Well. She's giving you candy uh, bar. Very tiny. Yeah. It, it was a tiny little thing. Uh-huh. So, uh, all right. It, it wouldn't. Oh, don't tell. Don't tell my brother Jim that. He'll, he'll uh, launch a uh, nuclear strike on you. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, be careful with that one. I'm glad that you, that he doesn't live next door to me. Shh, don't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> no, hey. He watches me like a hawk. All right. He just cares about you. He just loves you very much. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, anyway, so that guy eats all these crazy foods, and he, uh, he, he it's, it's okay for him to eat whatever he wants, and right? Eat whatever he yes, wants? Yes, yes. Yeah, your tummy doesn't know anything. Yeah, exactly. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. That's right. Um, all right, Dad, we are just, uh, as spring approaches, it won't be long till we're thinking about that. We'll be able to go up north and have a nice fish fry. It's going to be spectacular. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Mike is catching. Did you hear that Mike and uh, Liz's dog passed away? Yes. Oh my God! Was, we were there. Doug the pug is gone. That's that's sad. I, as a matter of fact, I, I really hurt because this dog was very special. Oh yeah. Any time I don't know why this dog would notice that. Anytime you would see me in the house sitting on a chair, yeah, he'd come there and sit between my legs. Because he loves you. That dog was great. Oh man, that was awesome. And it's a beautiful dog, you know. Yep. 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 Rest in peace, Doug the Pug. Yeah. Probably didn't show too much uh, uh, emotion of anything, you know, but he, she was quiet. Oh, yeah. She was hurting. She was quiet. She was hurting. And, yep. Uh, oh, well. That's my granddaughter. Yep. Absolutely. Dad, well, uh, you guys are awesome. I uh, appreciate you so much. That's all I got for you. Do you have any uh, closing thoughts or anything that you'd like to say for the audience? Well, uh, just pray the Lord that all these things go by in a hurry and we get back to normalcy and uh, start. And pray for the son. And, and, and pray for his son, according to my wife. Yes, uh, I, gr- I agree with that. Yeah. Other than that, uh, I just uh, hope that all my neighbors are doing well. And, you know, I don't see too many of them out there because I'm locked in here for about... 12 hours or 11 hours a day. Hey, did you ever like, uh, I was asking, I was talking with Diane about this. You ever see one, uh, Joanne would probably know this, um, something to do around the house. You know those latch rug kits that you take the little hook and put it in the thing and you put the piece of yarn around it and pull it through? Yeah, 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 yeah we got them. Tom Alexander made up the rug one time. Hey, hey. Did you hear that? Maybe that, Alexander yeah, that I did hear that. Maybe that's something you would like to do to pass the time because you're always talking about. No, that's not my forte. My forte is to be in a garage with the wood and chainsaw. Oh, chainsaw, you know. oh I, yeah, I know. Fin- fingers flying and. Uh, right, right. I was looking at the fingers. Oh, <laughs> me yeah. the other day. Yeah. I got, oh, wow. I look at them. Uh, two two fingers are uh, about yeah. an inch and a half old. I yeah, know it. I know it. Yeah, I'll we remember. We remember. We remember. Oh, my God. All right. Well, Dad, I love you very much. You guys have a great rest right. of your day. And you be good. And take care of that cold of yours, will you please? Will do. Will do. Yeah. All right. Say hello to your sweetheart. 
Tell her we love her and your brother-in-law. Yep, yep, he loves you too. And uh, just hang in there, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Okay. All right, I love you, and uh, enjoy life as it goes. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for your call, sweetheart. Bye-bye. And the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the phone. When you're coming home, daddy, don't.